live from KSAT 12, the night beat starts right now. It began as a traffic stop and is now a theft investigation. Personal documents along with other belongings all stolen and found in Castle Hills yesterday. Police now working to return those items and warn the victims of possible identity theft. The, the night team's Jaffney Gray with details of the arrest and what you need to do if you find yourself a victim. It's tonight's Crime Fighters report. What he was doing that really piqued my attention was as soon as I got behind him at the red light there at West End Jackson Keller, he was moving around a lot, reaching in the passenger side floorboard area and then also the driver's side door. We call these furtive movements. Castle Hills officer Jose Morales says he was trying to pull over a driver who was going 60 miles per hour in a 35 on West Avenue. He had moved around so much that for our safety and for his, we were going to pull him out and uh, at least check for weapons. He says they found a sawed off shotgun in the passenger floorboard, but that's not all. Morales says they also found 27 grams of meth, drug paraphernalia, stolen jewelry, burglary tools, and several backpacks and purses inside those bags. A lot of identifying documents, licenses, there were passports, there were checkbooks, and um, also some birth certificates and car titles, I believe. A red flag that prompted this Facebook post urging people to check over their belongings, including credit reports, bills, and other digital items to ensure their identity has not been stolen. The Federal Trade Commission offers these tips to find out if you are a victim of identity theft, seeing random withdrawals from your bank account, not getting your bills or mail, finding unfamiliar accounts or charges on your credit report, and if merchants reject your checks. Officials say if that is the case, call your bank or car provider immediately to close those accounts. And if your ID has been stolen, replace them as soon as possible.